Tech Tip 190, Custom Optima Load Charts. This Tech Tip applies to TC55 Optimas using the custom load chart. No tools are required for this Tech Tip. Read and understand all Tech Tip rules and guidelines before performing this Tech Tip. An operator will move a transformer from the ground and position it on a pole. Using the information in the following steps, determine if the lift plan can be achieved while remaining within the limits of the load chart. This tech tip demonstrates how to use load charts. Always use the unit specific load chart to determine capacities and to plan the path of the load. The transformer has a known weight of 615 pounds. Performing a dry run, the operator determined the boom angles required to move and place the transformer. Determine if the load in the platform is within capacity. Using the load chart, the platform capacity is 700 pounds. In this example, the weight of myself is 260 pounds, the liner is 50 pounds, and the tools weigh 30 pounds for a total weight of 340 pounds. The total weight is less than the platform capacity. An indicator light on top of the lower controls will be on when the lower boom is greater than 110 degrees, indicating zone B must be used. According to the table, the lower boom is at 95 degrees. This means we'll be using zone A of the load chart. The load radius is 3 feet. Based on this load radius, we'll be using the column highlighted in zone A. Use the angle indicator located at the upper boom tip to determine the angle of the upper boom. During the dry run, the operator determined that the upper boom angle ranged from negative 30 to 0 degrees. The lowest capacity indicated in this range on the low chart is 540 pounds, less than the weight of the transformer that weighs 615 pounds. This load chart states that 90% of the unused platform capacity may be added to the jib, up to the maximum jib load listed. According to the load chart, the maximum jib capacity is 750 pounds. From step 2, we know that 340 pounds of platform capacity is used and the maximum platform basket capacity is 700 pounds. 700 pounds minus 340 pounds equals 360 pounds. 360 pounds times 0.9 equals 324 pounds. This excess capacity can then be added to the capacities on the load chart up to the maximum jib load. For example, at 0 and 15 degrees, the load chart capacity shown is 540 pounds. Adding the excess capacity of 324 pounds gives a total capacity of 864 pounds. Since 864 pounds is greater than the maximum jib load of 750 pounds listed on the load chart, the capacity at both of these angles is reduced down to 750 pounds. Using the excess capacity makes it possible to lift this transformer within the load chart capacity. If the load radius is reduced to 1 foot 6 inches, then the maximum jib load on this chart increases to 1500 pounds. At this load radius, the load chart capacity is 560 pounds at 0 degrees. Adding the 324 pounds of excess capacity yields a total capacity of 884 pounds. Since the 884 pounds is less than the 1500 pound maximum, we are able to utilize all of the excess capacity available. Thank you for watching this video tech tip on custom TC55 aerial load charts. If you have any questions on this video tech tip or need assistance with any of our Terex Utility, Digger Derricks, Aerial Devices, or Auger Drills, call our technical support team at 1-844-TERIX4U. Again, the number is 1-844-837-3948 or email utilities.service at terex.com.